elder care law can be complex. Attorney Karen Jackson, who specializes in the field, recently shared some pointers with me that can be used by seniors and their loved ones. Mrs. Green, let's say, is a widow. She has a medical issue that causes her to have to go to a hospital. She's there for, quote, a few days is what often I hear this problem, how it starts. Mm -hmm. No one's paying attention to exactly how long she was in the hospital. Then the children learn that Mrs. Green can no longer, can't go home at this time. She needs rehabilitation, which is what Medicare pays for, up to 100 days of rehabilitation, so she can be strong enough to, to go home is the plan of that. The problem is, when she gets transferred to the nursing home, the family learns for the first time Mrs. Green wasn't an admitted patient at the hospital for three midnights or more. You can't go by, oh, she's in a room, now she's admitted. It doesn't work that way. She could be in a room under observation, but not admitted. There's actually uh, so a can case. Can you actually ask, say, yes. I would like for my person, my care person I'm caring for to be admitted? Yes, but really be even slightly more assertive, polite, but ask to actually see it in writing in the medical records because that's the ultimate test. Let's back up and explain to people, help people remember what exactly Medicare is. It has four parts. Part A, hospitalization. Part B, medical doctors, outpatient. B, uh, C is the Advantage plan. It pays for co-pays. And D is prescription. That's easy to remember. D for so drugs. So we hear those different letters. <laughs> that's but the, right. the actual program of Medicare is the federal program that's yes. paying for 65 and older, right? That's right. For health insurance for 65 and older or people who have been dis disabled for more than two years and there are a couple other minor categories. When people have this coverage, yes. you explained very briefly that they get up to 100 days, but why that's the, the amount yes. that the government and, says we can have? Yes, because so let's stay with Mrs. Green. She was an admitted patient for more than three midnights, and so Medicare is paying for her rehab, but then the family gets, they only have like a two-day warning. There's a meeting, a family meeting, and then in the meeting they're told, Medicare is no longer going to pay for your mother's care. And they right. go, but she can't come home. They go, then she has to pay privately, which is around pushing $400 a day in Western Mass., or she has to get on Mass Health, a Medicaid program that will pay for her care. Why? Because before this particular case that occurred in December of 2015 called the Jimmo case, they used to say because she leveled off, because medical inf she was no longer improving with Medica medical intervention. So she, she, her health sort of plateaued then. Yes, she, was she wasn't worse, improving. But not necessarily yes, getting but better. Yes, but that was never the law. And the Jimmo case challenged the Medicare office on that point and lost because really the test is, is medical intervention helping her in any way? Even to the point of it, is it slowing down her deterioration? Mm -hmm. They should still still keep... Medicare should still keep paying up to the 100-day maximum. Let's talk about estate planning in yes, general. Yes. I think that people hear that phrase yes. and they think, well, it doesn't apply to me. I'm right. not an, an insanely right. wealthy person. Estate planning is for someone who has a lot of money. That's right. Is there an income guideline that she, people should think you know, about? I get this question quite often on the phone. I've never met them. I don't know anything about their age or wealth. And they'll say, am I old enough to have a will? I always say yes because I can tell they're 18 years of age or older. Or they'll say, am I rich enough to have a will? And I'll say yes without knowing their wealth because the simple answer is at the time of anyone's death we never know how much will be in the estate this 25 year old died in an automobile accident his death was caused by the wrongful con the negligence of another driver and over a million dollars has come into his, his estate he had no will right he's 25 years old he had no money why a will right as most people think in those terms and he didn't have a spouse or children but when someone dies leaving money to their estate so we don't know a named beneficiary like life insurance or a joint bank account. When it's the estate, his estate, and this money came in after his death of over a million dollars, um, the law of intestate succession kicks in, which is what I call the state's will. The state wrote the will for him. And so that which money automatically goes to his parents. And in that case, when I hear this, they go, you mean more than half a million dollars will go to his father who he never met and never paid child support? Yes. Yes, there's nothing that could be done about that. But so if, I want everybody to have a will. But if you had a age. simple will that named beneficiaries, yes. it, you know, you might not have to right. know. You might, you might think personally, I don't have a lot of money, but that right. doesn't matter. You never know. Also in a will, you can name who's in charge. When someone dies without a will, the state has a thing called priority system on who's in charge, and you could end up with the wackiest person in the family in charge who 
doesn't do the job right and so then have lots to, of messes. Important to nail those down. I appreciate you coming in today.